Hey everybody, welcome to the whiteboard. In this segment, we're going to be discussing commodity indexes and what an important role they can play in diversifying your portfolio. Now, a lot of people have started to lean toward commodities as a nice place to diversify. And uh, there are a couple of different choices. You can invest in a specific commodity like gold or oil, or you can invest in a broad commodity index, which really gives you great exposure to the commodity market in general. Now, to give you an example of the type of exposure you could get, one commodity index ETF that we like to look at is uh, the Deutsche Bank Power Shares Commodity Index Fund. And uh, that is ticker symbol DBC. And as we watch this, it is comprised of various commodities. And here's how it's broken down. 55% of this fund is put into energy. And then 23% of this fund is put into metals. And 22% of this fund is put into agriculture. And so as you look at this nice broad diversification here, you have the heaviest weighting is in energy. That would be oil, natural gas. Uh, you have some exposure to metals, gold, silver, also other metals, um, and then agriculture, corn, wheat, soybeans, all the things you hear about on the commodity exchange. And so it's really easy to go out there and buy this one ETF and get exposure to all of these different segments of the uh, commodity market. Now, it's important to know what a commodity index holds in it if you are going to be doing more commodity investing than just this one index. So let's say you went out and you bought this ETF and it has a heavier weighting in energy here. Well, then you probably wouldn't need to also go out and buy an ETF for just oil or for just natural gas. Uh, because you already have a pretty heavy weighting on energy over here. You may, if you're looking to invest in individual commodities, you may look more toward the metals or more toward agriculture. There are other commodity indexes out there that have different weightings. Some of them are much more even, so the energy doesn't take up quite as much of the portfolio within the ETF. And you can look for those ETFs as well if you want to uh, be more broadly spread out and not have so much in energy here. Um, but with a commodity index, you do get a nice diversified exposure to the entire commodity market. So if you don't really want to go out and just buy these ETFs that focus on one individual commodity, the commodity index is a great way to go out, get exposure to the commodity market, and put in that next piece of your total diversified portfolio uh, that will really hopefully uh, balance out some of the ups and downs that you may experience in a portfolio. So that is commodity in indexes in a nutshell. Thanks for joining me at the whiteboard and we'll see you here next time.